Hello and welcome to the roundup of this week's edition of the Engineering News and Mining Weekly magazine, published on Friday, 17 September 2021. In this week's cover article, Engineering News and Mining Weekly Senior Deputy Editor Natasha Oerdendahl unpacks how South Africa's telecommunications companies are moving aggressively to add fintech offerings to the mobile money base. South Africa's major telecommunications companies are accelerating their financial technology strategies and betting big on Africa's untapped digital economy potential to bolster dwindling traditional revenues in an ever-evolving digital era. The engineering news features include a profile on the National Association of Automotive Component and Allied Manufacturers, heating, ventilation, air conditioning and refrigeration, where global citrus demand increases refrigeration demand, health and safety, where a digital cloud-based solution manages remote breath alcohol testing, and electrification and distribution, where retrofitting existing buildings with more energy efficient technologies is now possible. The Mining Weekly features focus on coal, where a trend toward decarbonisation is discouraging coal investments. And hydrogen fuel cells and the green economy, with South Africa stepping into its global hydrogen potential. This week's business leader is Katlejo Makrata, MD of Lioka Engineering. And as this week's cartoon shows, Discovery Medical Aid's announcement that COVID vaccination would be mandatory for employees coincided with the announcement of the municipal election dates. Hopefully, the new cohort of municipal councillors will be as ready to show similar leadership when they are installed. We hope you enjoy this week's edition of Crema Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly, the magazine that offers you news about developments in the real economy. Happy reading and see you next time. 